life is not easy and walking with christ is not easy hey everyone my name is valerie welcome back to my youtube channel feels yucky every time i say that allow me to just pour out what's on my mind because there's a lot on my mind and i don't want to downplay it by not talking about it whatsoever so this is a space in which i'm gonna just share lately i've been feeling really overwhelmed with the idea that there is a lot of things to do there's a lot of work to do which is really interesting because i'm currently reading the ruthless Elim elimination of hurry by john mark colmer which speaks about this rush and how if you're rushing you never get to experience the fullness of things and jesus didn't live a rushed life so with all of that in mind it's like okay what's making me rush i feel like i for my age haven't done enough i feel like i'm playing catch up with so many things because again literally the part that i just read um i'm gonna post this anyhow like i'm literally just freestyling right now in um the grill shop I got a little burrito just after the gym could not make it home i got a meal prep anyway i feel like for my age i have not done enough who set that standard probably society i feel like i'm personally playing catch up with where i should be there are some things that i feel like you should have just known that a lot sooner you should have just done that a lot sooner feel like I'm incapable of catching up because it I often think to myself if I could catch up why haven't I caught up yet is it because you're not able to is it because you're lazy is it because you have no drive where has your focus been and I give myself a really hard time about that um, layered with the fact that there's no condemnation in Christ there's no judgment you know he tells you to come as you are and he will change you so it's like I on one hand I've given up my life to say that yes I surrender and I believe in Jesus Christ he died on the cross for my sins and then there's still this fight between me and me um and there's still that internal voice that's constantly extremely negative um, I used to do therapy and my therapist told me the phrase that they would use for it is subconscious low self esteem meaning in the forefront of my mind like I have every reason to be confident and have a good esteem of myself and I can, I can identify that I could tell you better than you could tell me the many qualities that I have which are good healthy great how do you do that teach other people but subconsciously there's still that little voice in the back of my head which doesn't accept the the conscious ideology of i'm good um i shared my testimony on tiktok so you know with everything i've said in it about my mom's mental health and just how i grew up as well i do not ever want to be the person that is a product of what they've come from or what they've experienced and that's it like you will go through things and it will shape you but take from take from it the good and work on the bad so i'm constantly critiquing myself and noticing mm, and that can get tiring because i never give myself a break there's not a day that i give myself a break it's like okay that's a new thought or you know that's pretty consistent with who you perceive yourself to be but how do other people perceive you does it really matter my life is for christ and nobody else but again you have to get on with people because the bible tells you to not you know neglect the gathering of the saints it tells you that you, you're not doing life alone so you have to concern yourself with are you a liar or are you a truth teller type of thing talking about lies as well you just catch yourself, especially as you're trying to live a righteous and holy life. You catch yourself doing 
and saying things which before were so blasé. For example, if someone was to message me right now, maybe two or three years ago, I would have just said, oh, I'm making my way home. I'm not making my way home. I will make my way home eventually, but I'm sat in the chicken shop eating a burrito. But I would, and I, I, I can realize that of myself, and I wouldn't do that anymore, but then I'm still catching myself in small lies, and we think to ourselves that, or well, like speak about me own personally, you think to yourself, oh no, it's just a small white lie, but it's all lies, and there is no partiality in Christ, like there's, there's no bigger small sin, it's just sin. And then you catch yourself over and over again, and you start thinking to yourself, I'm a rubbish person. And, and he, he ain't never said that to you, you said that to yourself, I'm a rubbish person. Bro, like I can't stop lying. Prone to gossip. Why, why, why am I so horrible to myself? These thoughts are so negative. Like it just, it's an endless loop and it's an endless cycle, and it does feel very tiring. And I think um, all things work to the greater good of those who serve the Lord, right? So it's like even in this back and forth with my own self, where I'm like, ugh what is this if i'm faithful to continue to be obedient to what god is telling me to do the little and the small the whispers and the shouts i know that ultimately he will use all of these things for his glory and for the testimony right i believe that i just think it's tiring that i'm going to continue like i, I continually beat myself up and it's like well i mean just stop if only it was that easy, you think I would continue to do it? If only it was that easy, you think I would continue to fight myself? And then it taps into, because I know there's work to be done and I am this imperfect person, and I know that nobody's perfect. And the thing is, it, it, I know nobody's perfect, and I love people with their imperfections. Like, there's multiple people that they don't even know that I love them, but I love them. But with their imperfections, I see their imperfections, and that's absolutely fine because I know nobody's perfect. But me, I feel like you might not love me, or I'm not necessarily worthy of the love that I give to you back to me because of my flaws or because of my shortcomings, which is really silly. It is really silly now I'm talking about it, but innately, like that's what's in the back of my mind. The burrito was spicy, so excuse me. <laughs> What's up, it's spicy. I'm saying it's spicy and hot. But yeah, I say all of this to say, um, life is hard. The walk with Christ isn't always a walk in a park. But God is always good, you know. He did it all already. So as we go through the cycle of life one book that always comes up in my mind is the book of ecclesiastes and just the many says you know all of it's meaningless so rather than sometimes I, I i initially took that all of it is meaningless as there's no point in anything no the toil and and struggle ultimately if i'm not submitted to christ and doing what he wants me to do means nothing and for that reason I'm not gonna allow it to take up too much headspace because the toil means nothing. What matters is laughing when I laugh, feeling when I need to feel, knowing that God is good, taking everything up to him in prayer, being obedient and looking for the rainbow even in the rain. Mm. What 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 <laughs> because who who is it that makes the scale of doing enough at your age who made those standards in um, the ruthless elimination of Hari uh, I, I didn't even know this but when time was created there was a Greek philosopher that's, that wrote and I don't believe in the lowercase gods of the Greek belief but it was like the gods are angry at people for putting times to things because before you would go by when the sun was up and when the sun was down so in winter you'd have shorter days and more inside cozy days in summer you'd have longer days in which you would labor for longer type of thing 
So why am I now so caught up in a metric of doing enough for my age and there's not enough time when there was a point in time when time wasn't as we knew it? I'm worrying about the wrong things. And it's refreshing just to say it out loud. It's refreshing just to admit that I worry about things like that, that I'm not doing enough for my age, that I'm playing catch up on a lot of basic things in my life just because of being the first parent, I was going to say yikes, being the first born of parents who moved to England pretty young and split up being an ethnic minority, having potential learning difficulties that weren't detected, having people treat you in a way that you did not deserve to be treated, having experiences that you could have, you had no control over, and also experiences that you did, so you have to take accountability and be like, you know what, I put myself there. So, you have to be a bit easier on yourself. And I'm talking to myself. You have to be a bit easier on yourself. And you, be a bit easier on yourself. Because you're nice to other people. So much grace for other people. Have grace for yourself. The same grace that you have received if you have received Christ dying on the cross. There is grace in abundance. You ain't got to beat yourself up about it. Anything. And if there's something on your mind for a bit too long, Take it up with him in prayer. That was nice to let go of and just. If you can relate to any part of this, um, do let me know. Because it's not just me. I know it's not just me. I know it's not just me. Hence why I wanted to share because you're not in that bubble alone feeling like it's just, it's just you one thing i've learned from going to church consistently more recently is you're not alone and it's a trick of the enemy to make you feel like you are alone you're not you have a whole body of people in christ who care deeply and again i'm reaffirming this to myself because i struggle to un- to conceptualize and understand that oh wow like you actually care or like you want to be around me or oh, you care for my well-being it's new to me I love therapy and I just feel like if I could and part of me would I'd be in therapy my whole life I'd constantly be talking because I'm constantly trying to figure out what's this, what's this, what the, eh, eh, eh. take a break sometimes. And I think as I end this video and I, you know, post it, I think I'm going to try and give myself a break. That is all for me. If you've made it here to the end, I appreciate you so much. Um, have more grace for yourself. I'm saying that to myself too. Have more grace for yourself the same grace that you have received from Christ, the same grace that you give to others, have it for yourself and make the decision to choose more positive thoughts. You're not that bad. You are not that bad. You're you're pretty cool. Talking to myself, that's all, that's all for me. Thank you. The Lord bless you and keep you and may he make his face shine upon you in Jesus' name. Whoa, amen.